spend the night in the lover's hotel where they encourage safe sex. That's right, that's where I'm staying. And before I start, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, turn on that little bell if you haven't already. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, it's Mellow Cat Survivalist. Check it out. See, it's so safe with the hostels. They just basically put your stuff right at the door. And if you're curious about what it is that I'm lugging around, my gear list is the first line in the description. While we're, we're in our little dorm room, it reminds me of like, university though i've never been in dorm so we're in a uh, what is it a hostel it's one of the best experiences this girl is like i know she's making herself look like super good like posing and all that whereas i'm like this <laughs> wendy <laughs> wendy huh hi hi <laughs> see see i love it i love it see the contrast see this is how wendy takes her photos this is how she takes her photos and this is how i take my photos <laughs> In case you're not aware, that's what girls look like from behind the scenes. I'll show you, actually, this is where we live. It's actually quite incredible. And for those of you who's never been in one, most hostels have house rules, so please abide to it. And that's, uh, yeah, that's a kitchen area. And this is the common area. It's just really late right now, that's why I'm talking to so sneaky. And that's where we came in. And ta -da, this is where we are. Whoa. I know, our place is a mess right now. Of course, I'm in the upper bunk. All right, we found our, we found our hotel. However, I think we have a bit of a problem. Uh, this district is quite decent. However, however, it seems like it's filled with like love hotels because when you see the entrance, it looks like this, I'll show you. Like, it's like this, they have this thing that covers your car, kind of, when you get in there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a love hotel. And then, and then Wendy's like, oh, is ours a love hotel? I'm like, I, I don't think so, right? It's like, oh, it's right there. Um, yeah, but it is, it's got that thing. Yeah, it's, I think it's to cover people's cars. I'll show you. She made it. Hotel Cancun. Woot, woot, woot. All right. Sexy, sexy. Are you gonna go in the car entrance? Wendy, no, this way. This way, no, this is for cars. Yeah, but this is for cars. The entrance is right here, Wendy. Oh, this is a shady entrance, huh? Why is the entrance so shady? It's like an alley. It turned out both of these entrances are the same. They have a shady entrance for foot traffic or for people by foot. And a huge entrance for people going by car. How interesting. I know, looks like we're having an affair. Well, it doesn't look like a, a love affair hotel. Lovers gotta energize. I know Wendy, she was like pointing this thing to the receptionist when she came in. Obviously there's like a language barrier. And she's like, is this the love hotel? Is this the love hotel? And then she scared the crap out of that person. So uh, she, she hesitated to answer. I know it, it's bad. I'm like, Wendy, you're pointing your thing at her. It, it's, so, it's so funny though, because people usually get like quite offended uh, when you point, like when they feel that you're pointing a camera at them, but we're, we're not. But I think it's just her because she always holds on to that thing like it's a wall. See that, see that thing that she's holding? Wendy, show me your, your walking stick. Huh? Your walking stick, yeah. Yeah, she was like pointing it at her. Hey, she's, like, she's like, is, is, it, it, is, it, is this a love hotel? Tell then, me. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, they're, they're like, yes, it is. And you're in the wrong place, girl. We don't, we don't serve lesbians. I think that's what they're thinking. So Wendy said before she went to Hamaya with, a, with her friend, uh, Debbie, they went to a hotel before and it turned out to be a love hotel and inside their package she had a condom. I wonder if ours have one too. Do we? Wow, this is a tiny... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you idiot! When you press the open button, you idiot! She's just like screaming again and again. Oh, look at how big this elevator is. Look at this elevator. Wow, you can only fit two. 
I don't think they ex I, I don't think they were expecting any luggages. But um, yeah, people only spend the night here, so people don't really like live live here. When do you make me look ghostly already? <gasps> Put the light under me. Put the light. Okay. Here we are. Oh, 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 oh. I think uh, I think we're here. Yeah. Seven oh five. Lovers Hotel. Are we are we gonna have like seven? Oh wait, it's not it's not here. Yeah. Telling. Yeah. Telling. Sam. Telling. Yeah. Okay. When do you get going? Go. 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 Alright. Okay. It's a it's a love hotel. Is it sexy in here? Is it sexy? Oh, it's quite big. It's more than just a bed. So it's not just people don't just come in for sex. They come in. They come in to have a conversation. Wow. Well, they have a bathtub, and they only have like the the robe for one person. But it but it doesn't look very sexy. It doesn't look like a love hotel though. Yeah. It looks like just like a normal hotel as a thing. See, Wendy, the thing is, this place does not look like a love hotel. Yes. Open it. Open it and see if there's a condom in there. See, it's just a very low rise bed, and people come in to have conversations. And conversation and and yeah, and foreplay by conversation. What foreplay? Wendy's foreplay is conversation. Oh my god, that's so weak. And then there's smoking. Oh, let's see, toothbrushes. Okay, still kind of normal. Razor. Okay, good. Okay, and, and uh, makeup remover. All right, and let's see what else. Oh wow, wow! They want you to take care of your skin too. Okay, cool. Is there condoms in there? Condoms, condoms. No condom. No. Is is that a condom? Oh, that's crazy. Look at this. Love gel. You got love gel. What is that? Love gel is a lubricant. You know what I? Do we have condoms? No, no condoms. So they want you to. S oh, they got cl cleaner for cleanser for women. <laughs> Last but not the least. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, let's, let's do this. Oh my god. Okay, so let me. If I I got this correctly, what is this? Body sponge. Okay, so first they want you to wash yourselves clean, and then they want you to brush your teeth before you kiss. Um, shave whatever it is before you start. And for girls, uh, take a bath. Yes, that's very important. Woman, cleaner for woman, cleanser for woman. Cleanse where? Hair wax. There's love gel. And shaving, or shaving foam, cleansing foam. Which makes me wonder, what's a cleanser for women? Is it to to wash very specific regions, or is it just a cleanser for women? For your nighttime, smooth and fantastic feeling. Wendy, the love gel says for your nighttime, smooth and fantastic feeling. <gasps> you put it in your mouth. My mouth or uh, uh, part of my body. Wendy is so gullible, you can tell her anything oh, and she will believe you. Oh my god, of course it's not for your mouth, you idiot. You idiot, Tom. For your nighttime smooth and fantastic feeling. Ah, this will be the souvenir. Okay, okay, here, have a souvenir. Here's a typical snapshot of a freelancer life. I'm in the bathroom, on my laptop, in the lover's hotel that I've accidentally booked for our trip, and I'm answering emails. That's right, that was me on the loo. Whoo, behind the scenes. A bit misguided by the whole map situation. We were gonna take the taxi, but this place is actually closer than we thought. So here we are. Okay, I'm not gonna pronounce the name because it's they all sound the same. So that's where we're gonna stay for the next three days here in Busan. 
this hostel that we're staying in does not have elevator. Thank God it's over. It's only the floor. Oh, they have cats. Wendy, they have cats. I'm allowed to go outside. Don't worry. Oh, nice. They got cats in this hostel. All right, here we are. It's kind of called the High Busan Guest House. Let's come in. Oh. Wendy, come in. All right, we finally arrived. We survived. Wonder where's the cats? It's a cool hostel. Cool, cool. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, fat cat. Fat cat. That's Simba, by the way. Say hi to Simba. Oh. Turned out, fat cat number two's name is Matilda. Hey, Matilda. Meow. I think these cats are just really used to having visitors, so yeah, they're kind of immune. Oh, cool. This is our room, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you very much. But this is really small. Look at it. To you cat lovers out there, there's cats everywhere. Meow. If you don't flush, the cat god is gonna kill you. It's gonna be a disaster if you flush toilet paper into the toilet. Meow. I'm gonna claw the shit out of you. See that Simba when he was a kid? And Matilda. Ow. Guess who's the fuck it? Guess who's the fuck it? You fuck it, look at you. Is your fuck it still sleeping? Oh, hi fuck it. Oh, hi fuck it. Hi fuck it. Look at, look at such a fuck it. Look at so big. Look at so big. Oh. The best part about not understanding Korean is this can be anything. It looks like a nose with like nasal congestion. The path of where your allergens go. Oh, I hear the cat. The path of where the allergens go, traveling through your nose. Yep. Well, thank you for visiting. Thank you. Mama, you want to check out my room? You want to smell my dirty clothes? <laughs> Maybe your clothes stink. Smell no, no. oh, no, no, no. Why are you lopsided, cat? See, this is horizontal. Why are you lopsided? Pretty accommodating, aren't you? Yes, you're pretty accommodating. Hello, cat. Excuse me, if you haven't noticed, I'm really crazy around cats and I talk. Crazy cat talk. Those are cheers. I was told the reason why Matilda and Simba are so fat is because everyone who come in just have a tendency to feed them kibbles and snacks and everything and they just eat it. Meow. Meow. Oh, I love these cats. I gotta take you home. I gotta take you home, Mr. Cat. Communal laundry. Communal laundry space. Hey, stop showing people my underwear. Mm -hmm. And I think the best part about hostels is the social interaction. 
This is like almost midnight right now and people are just socializing, talking to people from different walks of life and uh, sometimes the crowds can vary and you can get some pretty good conversations going on and usually just reading the stuff off the walls is really awesome. Just seeing the stuff that people leave here uh, is looking but then most of the stuff seems to be in Korean, some in English. But this is my favorite part about being in hostel. It's, it's the interaction. That's impeccable. So this is the cool part because, see, this is like, well, I don't know what time it is. It's like, it's almost, oh, actually, it is one o'clock. See, one o'clock. And if by any chance you love the communal living or just the fact that you can talk to other people because you don't get to do that in hotels or you just really miss your dormitory life, try it out. Try it out at least once in your life. Try hostels. They're super cheap. Usually it's about 20 or 30 bucks US for a day. Love it. Matilda. See? They're right. Matilda. They can hang out on their own. Meow meow. Bye bye. Thanks for having us. Bye bye. Bye bye. Meow. See you guys. Ooh. Matilda. Bye bye. Just when I thought Matilda was coming to say goodbye, she's actually going for my gimbal <laughs> string. And did you know that the neighbors actually know when to open the doors for Matilda and Simba? So smart. Bye, Matilda. Meow meow.